Welcome to this review and unboxing of the Carpet Clear Runner Carpet Protectors. So this is the box that it comes in. Okay, so let's open the box. Okay, so this is a roll of the carpet protector, and this is 26 inches by 100 feet. Okay, so let's take it out of the box. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so I'm going to remove this. So it's separated with this paper as it rolls around, there's a paper in between. Now, these are kind of like spikes and they're supposed to prevent the carpet runner from slipping across the shag surface of the carpet right here. So this has to be facing down that way. Now generally these are used just to roll across the carpet in one section while the carpet remains uncovered on the sides of it. However, I'm going to be doing an experimental installation. I'm going to be covering an entire room. So there's not going to be any carpet surface. I want this to completely cover the carpet. So I'm going to be laying this side by side next to each other. Since this is only 26 inches wide, I want to connect it to cover a room. And then I'm going to be putting double-sided carpet tape to kind of connect each section to prevent any debris or liquids from going in between and also give it some adhesive to prevent it from slipping. Okay, so I'm going to start to unroll this. I want to run it from the wall all the way to that wall and then I'm going to run another section alongside of it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to have this meet the wall right here. Now, remember this needs to be turned over. See, the spike has to be facing down. And this is what grips onto the shag surface of the carpet. So if you take this paper off. Okay, so I'm going to roll this back to give myself some slack towards the end. So, can you mark this? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it right here. See? Because I want to know exactly where to cut it. So, I'm going to mark this off and then cut it. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark each end, which is this end that end. It's best to have a ruler or a long stick where you could just lay it across and then just run the mark across. Okay, now I'm going to use this toolbox to hold it down, which has an amount of weight so I can mark the other side. Okay. I run a straight line all the way across that I'm going to cut it. 
you could either do this with a, a cutter or you could use a scissor. Okay, so I'm going to mark this off. further. Using this box it has weight. It's heavy enough to hold it down to allow me to mark it properly so it doesn't flap up. And then once I have this marked then I can just easily just cut it along the line to get a straight cut. Okay. So I'm going to cut this now. Cut the size and now we're going to turn it over so the spike side will be facing the shag rug surface and let's see how it works out. We're going to turn it over. Now I will be cutting around here as well on the door casing so this could work its way around here and then it'll be snug against the edge of the wall. So as you can see it's clear. Now what you can also do is you can leave a section against the wall like this and you can use double-sided tape to make sure that this is sealed in so nothing can get in between here. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a section right here and I can wash this off, this marking, or you could just cut along it because you still have enough slack over here to overlap and protect the carpet further by letting it just have this extra section here and then you can tape this here if you like using the double-sided tape, which I'm going to show you later. So it does slip. It has a grip to it, but it does slip alongside. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay another section alongside it. Okay, so as you can see, I have two liners laid down side by side. They're cut to size. However, it does move around. As you can see, I'm walking on it. See, it's not stuck to the carpet 100%. And as you can see, it's bubbling up. You see at the seams? See the connection here? It's not staying put. So what I'm going to be using is double-sided carpet tape. I'm going to lift this up at the seam. I'm going to be applying double-sided carpet tape under here and the other side is going to be facing the shag rug surface. Now carpet tape is supposed to be used under the shag rug which is a flatter surface and it has more adhesive ability than against the shag rug. However, I don't really need that much adhesion. I just need it to connect these two from the underside so they don't shift around. And of course as I continue rolling more towards the end of the wall, it's going to hold better and be more stable because each section is going to hold each other. So each seam is going to have double-sided tape on the underside. Okay, now 
The runners are laid down side by side, as you can see right here. So now I'm going to be running double-sided copper tape along the seams to connect the parts. As you can see, they're bubbling up, they're starting to separate. I want to seal these connections. This is all covered. Start to apply the double-sided copper tape. Now here it is. It's clear. So I'm going to unroll this. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be lifting up this seam right here. And I'm going to be applying it first to one underside. And I'm going to be unrolling it first one side to attach to the carpet and then the other side to attach to the underside of the runners. I'm going to line them half and half, as you can see, half there, half there. The adhesive is ready attached to the carpet. I'm going to be running it along until it goes all the way to the end, right there to the wall. Okay. scissor to cut it. Now you don't have to set one long strip, you could do sections and that might be easier for you. Okay, so that's all set. So let's straighten this out here. Okay, so now, one side of the double-sided tape is attached to the carpet. Now the top part here has to come off, and then I'm going to press down both sides right here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing is unpeeling the top of the double-sided tape so it will stick to the underside of both parts of the runners connect these two areas right by the seam. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up so it doesn't get in the way. As I unpeel this, I don't want this to inadvertently stick to this as I'm trying to attach this side. So this has to be lifted up all the way to the end. Okay, that's 
good. Now, going to unpeel it. to be straightened out. And if this gets stuck up like this, you can always cut and put a different piece of tape. It's fine, it doesn't have to be one piece. But the main thing is straighten this out and connect it 50-50. These two sections have to be cut out, I gotta fix those. All right. Okay, there you go. Doesn't have to be perfect. Thin strip. Okay, this is all connected. I'm just gonna put one extra strip there. Okay, this is all laid down all the way to the end. And now this seam is connected. And now we have to take this runner and roll it over this adhesive. Now you have to be careful, make sure it's aligned because this is difficult to get off if you don't attach it correctly. So I'll align it to the length that it's supposed to be because you can't push it anymore. That's the whole point of the double sided tape. Make sure it's the spike side down. So it needs to be done section by section. Make sure they don't overlap. They have to meet each other end to end. No overlapping. technique is to go section by section and push it down. You can actually lift it up, it'll unstick. But as you can see it's turning out really well. There's no bubbling or anything. You just press it down. Again, no overlapping. Edge to edge connection without overlapping. Push it down, push it down. 
Okay, one more section. Another piece of tape right at the end there. And that's it. I could just walk over it just to press it down. Okay, it looks like it's holding. It's holding really nicely. Just repeat the process, section by section, and there you go. That is how to lay and connect carpet floor runners. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments. Please like up this video, and thank you for tuning in.